All right, guys. Back to our last point. Uh, we getting, we're doing good on time a little bit, a little bit over here, but it's all good. But our last point, put that concrete back hat back on. Don't lose it because we tend to want to take that off and put our abstract hat back on and, and go back to that Roman Greco. We got to keep that Hebrew way of thinking. So once again, just like those trees, bad and good, right? Hot or cold, right? It's either black or white. It's clear. You, you're not gonna so. So here's the last one. If I had drum, next time we need to get some uh, <laughs> drum rolls. Drum, roll. drum rolls. Point number one. This is a clear sign. Now, there's no particular order, but this is just my favorite. But this is a clear sign that your woman does not love you if she does not obey you or honor you. Ooh, did I just say a bad word? I hope I don't get canceled from YouTube. That word right there could literally get this thing canceled. So you better download this video because they may take it down. Obedience. A woman, if she is not obeying her man or honoring him, is a clear sign she does not love you. Do you hear me? Obedience. Obey. So let's go and show you some examples of that. Here's an example. If she is not honoring you as a king of the house, you should feel like a king. If you come into your home and you last fiddle or you are afterthought, it's a clear sign this woman does not love you. You should feel like a king mm -hmm. when you come into your room. You yeah. should be confident that when you come in, there should be concrete. When I come, when, I, when my woman sees me, my children see me, they literally bow down to me to show me that they honor me, that they love me. They don't even use the word, I love you. I can clearly see with my eyes that they love me. So if your woman is not, uh, if you don't feel like a king and she's not treating you like a king, it's a clear sign she does not love you. That's how my women treat me. That's how that's how I get treated. That's how I know. Previous relationship, nope, didn't get treated. Matter of fact, if the children, if, if they cook dinner, I was the last one to get food. Can you believe that? Making millions of dollars, busting my butt, to put food on the table, to provide a nice lifestyle. And I was the last, I felt that way. I felt like, man, the dogs got taken care of better than I did. I got the scraps. I got the leftovers. I got whatever. Oh, uh, an afterthought. I mean, I man, if it was so bad for me. I couldn't wait till the children go to school because at least I knew I was going to get breakfast cooked that morning. <laughs> when the children was off school, if it was a holiday or a weekend, guess what? Your elder was not going to get fed. I had to go in there and make my own food. I, I, I'm, I'm putting myself in a sword, but I'm speaking from experience. And I didn't even know at the time right there, but I knew it. But they said, why do you associate that with love? How come you just can't look at it? She's tired or she has eight, seven children and she forgot or she slept in. So I was taught to not look at those signs, to ignore the signs but jesus clearly says you will know them by their fruit you will know a tree that is good and a tree that's bad you will know and the whole time i was being dishonored now that i'm here on community guess what i know that i'm love i am the first person actually my dad is first but i am the first person next to my dad it should be that way because he's my father but i'm the first person to get my food the first one I am the first. And so as the head of the community, it makes sense. As the head of my family, it makes sense. And guess what? And then after me, deacon, who's, who's the deacon uh, here, second in command, he's the next one to get his food. And then after that, all the brothers get their food. And guess who get their food next? I think the, the children. Um, and then the women are literally the last one to get their food. After everybody served, then the women get their food. Oh, you're going to trigger some people here. Oh, my goodness. Said, what? <laughs> Are we abusing our women? That is a clearly how the food is ordered. I get it first, deacon, all the brothers. And then the way we do it at Straightway Praise Land is that we do older from younger. And so the oldest brother, um, I think it's Brother Case, but our oldest brother to the youngest brother, that's how they get their food. And then the the I think we got my son there, DeAndre. He goes in there, he gets the food, and then all of the then the, the the children get the food, and then the women get their food last. 
that is so if your woman is not making sure that you get the best of the food the very best is a clear sign she doesn't love you clear mm. sign. Yeah. and i'm telling you i experienced that in my christian and that was actually okay that was like they said you should be the last will be first and the first will be last like they, they will use the bible twist it and make you think it's okay for the woman to treat you less than even though you're supposed to be the head yep are you guys hearing me that's good. So if she's not honoring you as the head of the family at the house, it's a clear sign she doesn't love you. If she is not obeying your request or your demand, if she does not obey you, it is a clear sign she does not love you. If you want your woman to do something and she doesn't do it, or if she said, oops, I forgot, I, I'm sorry, sorry. If you think that she's Mrs. Sorry, it's a clear sign she doesn't love you. A clear sign. So if she can't obey you, matter of fact, let me give you a scripture. Deacon, please give us the uh, uh, Ephesians chapter 5, 22, 24. Wives, submit yourself unto your own husbands as unto Yah. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church. And he is the savior of the body. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Not some things, everything. This is, God, these are stuff you should be looking for. It's right there in the word. It's right there in everything, not some things. Don't let people fool you. Say, well, that's different or this is, no, in everything. She should honor you just like, and, and, and here's another thing too. You could, if you really love your woman, if you truly love your woman and you're not correcting these behavior, this, the way she treats you is exactly how she treat Yeshua HaMikshik, uh, uh, Jesus the Christ, the same way. So she can say, I love Jesus. I love Jesus. But if this is how she's treating you, that is how she's treating the father. It, hands down. I don't care how much she goes to church, she tread tears and fake it. If she is dishonoring you and not obeying you and everything, it is a clear sign she does not love Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ. She does not love him. And she clearly doesn't love you. Clearly doesn't love you. Go to the next one. Matthew chapter 5, 25, verse 7 to 8. Ye hypocrites, well did Isaiah prophesy of you, saying... This people draweth nigh unto me with their mouth and honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. Do you guys hear that? See, that's what that's what they do. They honor you with their lips, their mouth. I love you. I can't tell you in Christianity how many times I was told by my woman, by my children in Christianity, they love me. I can't tell you now. My children they had no choice but to obey me because. I demand that. But my woman at the time, I can't tell you how many times, bro, I'm telling you, if I got a dollar for every time, I will be a billionaire. <laughs> I'm not exaggerating. I can't tell you. I love you when I leave. I love you when I see you. I love you when you pass by. I love you. I love you. I mean, notes, I love you. But in function, hey. her heart was far from me. And now I got the proof because the manifestation showed itself when the time came for me to love my master, she wasn't there to love me because she never really loved me. I remember Pastor Dow telling me, I don't think your woman, and that pastor was, Pastor, I know, I know, Pastor, you would be very nice because I was in a low place. He wanted to like knock me down, but he said, I don't think Pastor knew because <laughs> Pastor knows how to read the signs. He knows how to read signs, but he says, I don't think she really loved you. I don't. I don't think she really loved you. And I can say, Pastor, no, she didn't love me. The situation that we ended up in showed, it manifested. Because if she was, she would have never, no doubt, departed. So I know she doesn't love me. So I'm telling you guys right now, this is a clear sign. If your woman is not obeying you in the little things, she's not going to obey you in much. It's a clear sign. She doesn't love you. Read one more Luke chapter 6, verse 46. But why do you call me master, master, and do not do what I say? So same thing. Why do you call me master? Now, 
and, and straightway we got we got women that we got women that actually called their their husband master. Now in the, out there in the world, they'll think it's crazy, but even in straightway, let's be real. How many of you women are calling your master, your husband master, but you're not doing what he's saying? Mm, you see, on, you're being a hypocrite. So this is what, so you got people, it's like your action speaks louder than your words, not your words. Even if you can put up that sign, I don't know if you had that sign of the, uh, the uh, communication, the circle, but your action will actually show more that you truly love him. The spoken word right here is only 7%. And you telling him, master, master, okay, I hear you, but now I'm going to be watching you. I'm going to watch your body language. I'm going to see your tone. I'm going to see your voice. I'm going to, I'm going to hear your, the, 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 your voice tone. I'm going, to, I'm going to look at this stuff to see how much you really love me. I hear the words, but now I want to see action. And yeah. so many people can say, master, master, even in this ministry. Yeah. Not, not all of our, not a lot, but let's be real. I'm just being real. And so we need to challenge ourselves. Are we truly loving our master? So if she's not obeying you and she's only giving you lip service, it's a clear sign that she doesn't really love you. Elder, if I can interject something. Yes, please. Um, I know we've heard pastors say this. Uh, I know you've heard pastors say this to you personally, but even just in, a, in general teachings, but he's always reminded us to not go off what people say, but go off what people do. And so this is clear because, I mean, when we're looking at this chart, <coughs> body language and tone is is most of the communication. What you're saying, it, it, it really doesn't mean anything when now it's when it's compared to what you're doing, how you're moving, how you said it, all that stuff. You know what I mean? Your tone and all that. So just wanted to bring that in there. So guys, so here is it. So once again, you can tell the difference between a good tree and a bad tree. These are concrete. You can literally put this to work right now. This is not something you have to go study. All you have to do is have eyes. If you can see, if you see, just look at what people are doing. The people that are supposed, if you're a man, you can tell if your woman love you. I gave you four signs. I gave you about cheating, being unfaithful, controlling. If she's trying to control you, if she's gaslighting you, if she's not being obedient or honoring you, these are clear signs. So now, guys, listen to this. I see people in here. I want you guys to listen. Now, do you guys think I'm only talking to women? I'm not only talking to women. I'm talking to brothers, too. Because we say that the head of every man is who? Christ, the Messiah, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ. If you are not obeying him and honoring him, if you're not doing the things that he commands us to do, guess what? It's a clear sign you don't love him. See, we're talking about relationship, but we should be able to see, are we doing the same thing? What is our women seeing in us with our, with our master? Are we murmuring, complaining? Are we not being obedient to our head, our master? It's the same thing across the board. So don't just think that this is just about women. It's also about us men too. Hallelujah. So I hope that you guys can see. So you can clearly see in yourself. And Yah is giving us a beautiful book. The, 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 the Bible. They call it the Bible with the Torah, the prophets, and the new what they call the New Testament, the gospel, the, the epistles. It's right there. We have commandments on how to love Yah and how to love our brethren. How do we treat each other is a clear sign. Concrete, not abstract, not gray, black and white, hot or cold. Clear, clear, concrete. So anyway, I just want you guys to know it's not, and, 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 is, is it double standard? Yes. They said, well, that's not fair. How come? It is double standard. There is a double standard. A man, a woman cannot walk out go out as a man goes out. There are two different things.